Hi, it's Joan Butts. This week, I'd like to look at strong balanced hands. If you open a hand to no trumps, you're generally showing a balanced shape and 20 to 22 or 20 to 21 points. If partner is going to bid six no trumps and go to slam, they need to have plenty of high card points because the only thing that will make tricks when you have two balanced hands are high card points. It's quite different when you've got long suits and shortages and you can use the trump suit. So balanced hands always deal with high card points and there is a bid on the hand that I've given you and it's called a quantitative bid. If you open two no trumps and your partner bids four no trumps, this is not the Blackwood Convention because the Blackwood Convention is used only when there's a clear suit being agreed. Four no trumps over two no trumps is simply asking opener to bid six no trumps if they're maximum or pass four no trumps if they don't have any more than the bottom of the range, e.g. 20 points. So try to play the hand as well this week because there's um, a trick taking idea that you need to use in the hand because you won't have 12 tricks. I hope that you're enjoying the Zoom lessons that I'm doing and they're on Refresher and we're finishing the course in the next three weeks. Then we'll be starting a new Zoom course and it'll be for improvers. The final thing that I'd like to announce. I'm very proud that the Joan Butts Bridge Club has been accepted by Bridgebase Online as a virtual bridge club so that we'll be running a regular weekly game on Thursday afternoons at 1.30 Australian time. At the end of the game I will come on via a Zoom link with you and I'd like to go through three selected hands from the game that you've just played. Those hands will be related to one of the lessons in the online School of Bridge. So at the moment, go to my website and go through the sign up process. It's very simple. It's best if you have a partner to play in the games, but if you don't, please let us know. So I hope you have a good week, everyone, and I look forward to seeing you over the following weeks. Here's a strong, balanced hand with 21 high card points. In the standard system, we would open two no trumps with this hand. That would show either 20 to 21 or more commonly 20 to 22. Partners four no trumps is not the Blackwood Convention. You only use four no trumps as blackwood when a suit has been agreed. This four no trumps is quantitative. It's an invitational bid, which is actually inviting us to bid six no trumps if we think we've got the maximum for our two no trump opening, or to pass four no trumps if we've got the minimum. Well, we've actually got the maximum, so we would go six no trumps. Partner's hand will have about 12, maybe 13 points, because we need to know for sure that in order to make six no trumps, we need 33 high card points. So, partner had 11 plus a lovely club suit, that's 12, giving them the invitational raise that they made and we accepted the invitation so now we've got to make it. Let's count our winners. Two spade winners for sure, two heart winners for sure, five club winners but we do have to make sure we untangle the clubs by being able to cross over to the north hand after we've played the ace and the king. So and the ace king of diamonds gives us 11 total tricks well, we've got to find 12 tricks. Where's the 12th trick going to come from? It'll be in the diamond suit. So let's win this first spade with the ace and unblock our ace and king of clubs.
Now we need to cross over. Here's a link card to cross over to the Ace of Hearts, which is an entry to enjoy the clubs. Don't cross over with a spade because that's our last um, control in spades. So play the Five of Hearts over to the Ace. And now let's take our club winners. Sometimes the defenders discard badly when we are playing our long suit. Now for the diamonds. What would we like to happen in diamonds? It wouldn't be correct to play the jack because we don't have the queen or the ten or the nine underneath it. If we play the jack, the person who might have the queen here in the east hand will cover the jack with the queen. Even though we'll take the ace and the king, it will promote their nine or their ten later. So we would like the queen of diamonds to be in the west hand. And if it's in the west hand, we should lead up towards the jack of diamonds. Let's see if this works. Take the ace first and now lead a small diamond up towards the jack. Well, West did not play the queen, so West either hasn't got the queen or they didn't play it. So we'll try the jack, but it loses to the queen. Now we've got only one hope left, and that is that the diamonds were distributed 3-3. And they were. So we've actually made 12 tricks.